Chris with LG Squared at the High Performance Home in Marietta, Georgia. And today we're going to talk about the foundation and slab for this contemporary designed home by LG Squared. Much like our off-grid project in North Carolina, the slab is a 16 inch wide by about 24 inches deep uh, turndown with a 4 inch slab continuous. And underneath that turndown, we're going to have, uh, we have four inches on the outside, four inches underneath, and four inches up, turned up on the inside of that, on the, uh, the turndown, and another four inches horizontally into the slab. And so this is the same detail around the entire perimeter of the condition portion of the house. But I'm sitting here next to, this is the garage. This is the garage over here. It is not insulated underneath the slab, but it is going to be insulated with two inches of rock wool on the outside. The main slab continues with its four inches all the way through here, and then we're basically going to treat it as if the garage were built up to an existing building. So the, the main portion of the house, the conditioned portion, is the existing portion, and then the, the, the garage is sort of treated as as like an addition. So this four inches here, this is on the slab edge, and then we'll continue this up the wall, and then we'll have six inches on the roof. This is our flashing uh, that we're, we're installing on top of the insulation here to um, protect it during construction. Um, and what it's also gonna serve as is a nice uh, termite shield. So if any, any termites, uh, ground termites or anything that want it, that find their way into the insulation this will be this will block them from getting up into the rest of the insulation because this will be above grade this portion this little lip here will be flashed to the slab or to the building um, there will be a, there, the slab here is going to be poured right flush to here this is the transition between our garage or and our our back porch slab and the interior slab. So where this tie, uh, butts into the foundation here, uh, the slab will just be poured right up to this level. And where that, where that meets the building, we're gonna do some liquid, continuous liquid flashing. In this project, we're using all Polywall products, uh, their blue barrier system. And this is actually gonna be, we're gonna use one of their tape products, which we'll do talk about in a later video but this is the uh, this is the detail this is how we're transitioning between inside the conditioned building and the unconditioned portion here it's the, the back porch and this is here and the garage the insult the uh, foundation crew there in the background they're making some final adjustments to make sure we have a minimum of four inches everywhere uh, on the slab and then inside the slab we're going to put uh, number four rebar at 16 inches on center in each direction uh, in the dead center of the slab and on top of all this it's going to wrap it's going to wrap up up the edge the outside edge and up the inside edge and then all across the all across the slab is going to be a 15 mil uh, vapor barrier that's also a termite barrier by uh, this one's a it's, it's a it's called pango wrap and it's by stego industries the insulation we're using for the edge the outside edge the inside edge and underneath the slab is this top rock dd it's a higher density uh, rock wool insulation from rock wool north america and on the underside of the uh, the turndown slab we're using an Owens Corning Fomular 400 which is a type 6 XPS insulation so it's much higher density uh, insulation than the rock wool. Rock wool cannot be cannot put that underneath a the bearing portion of that turndown slab as it, it's just not not dense enough it's not doesn't have enough capacity for for bearing and so we've put the uh, Owens Corning just on the turndown portion around the entire perimeter. Well, that's the foundation and slab on grade preparation that we did for the contemporary high performance home in Marietta, Georgia. And as it's getting colder here, 
in the south. Uh, it's sort of a rare blast of cold down in the 20s tonight. Uh, we are appreciating, and the owner will appreciate, the amount of effort we put into that slab edge and providing as much insulation as we are and of course all the insulation we will be putting on the walls and the roof. That's it for now. This uh, We will see you at the next video. Thanks for checking us out and if you want to stay up to date just hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time.